Uh, Stephen in Arkansas uh, says, in the Bible graphically presented, you indicate that there is an unknown period of time before the fall. Is there any way to know when angels were created? Um, and uh, thank you, uh, Stephen. Uh, that is the Bible graphically presented, by the way, uh, as uh, Stephen knows, because he was there, many others. We have now the ministry of Jesus graphically presented, which is on the uh, Gospels, and uh, both of those are available now. But I did indicate this unknown period of time uh, before the fall. That is, I believe in a young earth, by the way. I believe in a six-day creation. Uh, and... Yet between Genesis uh, chapter 2, when Adam and Eve are living in the garden and uh, they're, they're in this idyllic world as chapter 2 closes out, they're naked and not ashamed. And then you come into chapter 3 and immediately you have the temptation and the, uh, uh, the shame that comes. Well, how much time between chapter 2 and chapter 3? Truth is we don't know. And uh, it, it, it could have been, uh, could have been a great period of time, a lengthy period of time. I, I think there's uh, not really a whole lot of evidence that it was a huge amount of time, uh, but it, it honestly could have uh, could have been. Uh, we don't exactly know, uh, again, when the count of Adam's age came in. We're assuming when he was created, but it could be that, uh, you know, if you live in a, in a world in which there is uh, uh, the tree of, of uh, life, you know, why do you really count birthdays? So maybe that didn't start counting until they were separated from that. That would be pure speculation. I think there's uh, so that, I think that's weak evidence. I think it's better to say from the day of his creation. After all, you did have the sun, moon, and stars on the third day, and they were for times and for seasons and for days and months and years, those things that they were created for. So the uh, question then, is there any way to know when the angels were created? I, I think that... Uh, you have to, I'm going to go a little bit uh, from uh, memory on this, but uh, when you get into uh, verse 1 and 2, and let there be light, and God saw that there was light, I think, I think in, the, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. I think probably that we have angels uh, included right there, and the reason I say that is because at least by the third day, uh, when God, I believe it was the third day, wasn't it? When God uh, put the sun and the moon and the stars uh, in the sky, uh, the scriptures say, uh, even before this, and this is, this is a passage from Job, and so pardon me, I, I know it's in Job. I don't uh, I know the exact passage, but it says that, uh, in, in, in interpretation just a little bit, but it says the angels watched on as God laid the foundations, as God put the stars in place, the angels watched on. So the closest we have is that passage, and pardon me for not knowing the exact reference, that passage in the book of Job that is referring to the uh, sons of God or the angels watching on during creation, which I think puts it uh, very much in the beginning. Now, I think the fall of Satan has to have come after the sixth day uh, because God looked and said, this is very good. And I don't think a creation in which you've got Satan cast down to earth and sneaking around on the earth, God would say, this is very good. This is uh, one of the areas where I disagree with uh, my buddy Schofield right here. I take a Schofield Bible, and uh, he takes a gap theory, which uh, I might just say in passing, someday we'll look, get, dig into Schofield's gap theory. It sounds like pure eisegesis. When you read uh, Schofield and those who, uh, who put some intellectual muscle into that gap theory, they've got more evidence than it seems uh, on the surface. But I still uh, don't agree with or accept that gap theory. And I think that's one of the issues, as God says, this is very good. So uh, I think uh, really prior to let there be light, you've got angels. They're all messengers of God. They're all working on his behalf. There's no fallen angel yet. So somewhere between chapters 2 and chapter 3, I think, is where you have the fall of Lucifer, and Lucifer comes in. I don't think he's just been uh, skirting around there the entire time. Uh, 
as uh, as as we uh, we have that. Uh, and uh, Gary does mention, uh, you know, Genesis chapter one verse twenty six. Uh, God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness." Uh, so, you know, the 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 use of the plural there uh, is that a reference to the angels uh, and. What we see of angels, anyway, uh, seems that they're made in the same physical image as we are. Uh, that's why you can visit with angels unaware. Uh, and uh, many times in the Old Testament and the New Testament, uh, when there's these angels that appear, for example, to Manoah, they didn't realize they were an angel until afterwards. So maybe that's the us. By the way, uh, many teach that it's uh, the plural there, speaking of uh, God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in that uh, regard. So it uh, could be that way. Excellent uh, question there. 